Hey guys, real quick before we get into the video today, I just wanted to bring to your attention. I do have a TCG player store um, that I sell pretty frequently on here. If you guys come to my store, Matthew Cody's Cards, um, you'll see I have several cards up here for sale. Just reach out to me and let me know. Um, if you guys are interested in anything like that, uh, you can message me on uh youtube and just say hey i'm interested in this card you have and maybe we can work out a deal or something uh i also have an ebay store where i do sell pretty frequently with like decors and uh play mats and football cards and stuff like that so just reach out guys please uh enjoy the video peace
Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. True Knight here. So, I was going over a deck profile that I saw from my buddy last night. Um, let me see. I'm going to keep it on this one just because I don't have a wallpaper backdrop. Or actually, no, I don't. Um, anyway, welcome to a new series that I'm going to be featuring starting in November here. Um, I am recording this video a couple of days early just because it's going to be in front of all the videos that I do with this series. Um, just so you guys know what's what and how we're going to do this format. So, um, this month I'm going to pick one deck every, let's see, let's look at a calendar, probably every seven days um, in the month of November. So from the 1st till the 7th, we'll do one deck. Then the 14th, 21st, 28th. So uh, that's one, two, three, four decks in the month of November. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to profile it at first. I'm going to make a basic profile for the deck that I've seen online or on websites, things like that. Um, show it to you guys. And then I'm going to base it off of five things at first glance. Uh, number one is the attack power of the deck. Number two is going to be the defense power of the deck. Number three will be the recovery of the deck. Number four will be the skill expression of the deck. And number five will be the overall grade that I give the deck. And I'm going to do these based off of a one to five rating. So attack power meaning how quick does this deck OTK? Does that is what the deck relies on? Um, does the deck have the combo set up naturally to um, go for game at any given point, or does it need help? Uh, the defense of the deck is: Can the deck um, play enough non-engine to keep itself alive? Um, does the does the deck naturally have an engine that is defensive? Um, anything of that nature. Recovery is what if you get ward wiped? What if you get shiftered? What if you get charmed? Things like that. Can your deck recover in those situations? Because it's very prevalent right now. Can Nibiru flat out destroy your deck? Um, things of that nature. What does D barrier do to it? It, it asks all those kind of questions. Uh, skill expression is something that I'm very fond of. Um, could I pick this deck up, learn combos today, and be self-sufficient enough to just pick it up and play it at a regional tomorrow? Um, does it take a week of testing? Does it take two days of testing, two or three days of testing? Does it? Is it something that after two months I'm going to find nuances to it? Like, where is the skill in that deck? And then overall is I'm going to combine all those things and give it an overall one to five grading. Um, reason I'm doing this is because I have a lot of paper TCG deck cores, and me as a content creator, I do that to be able to showcase it on the channel. However, I only play locals maybe once or twice a month, and I want to give the average Yu-Gi-Oh player something of a kind of like, not like a necessarily a do these things, but maybe a guidance system for guys that are in my, guys or girls that are in my predicament where there may be tournaments in your city probably five, seven days a week, but you can only go once or twice a month. So if you're going to base it off of that, how do you determine what to play? Do you just pick that Sword Soul deck and play that for five, six years? Because I played it for four. And I'm not saying that I don't know, I no longer play Sword Soul. I definitely have it fully built, paper, online, things like that. But if you want to grow in a game, I feel like playing different decks is kind of part of it. And yeah, you can be a one trick pony for so long, but you eventually get to a point where it's like, all right, maybe this other mechanic's kind of cool. Maybe these cards are pretty cool. You know, something sticks out to you. And so I'm, I'm predicating this towards people in my shoes. Um, and I just want to give you guys all my dealings and how I cope with it and what I do. Because I don't have the luxury of being able to just go out and play on a flip of hat. I got a plan for it. I usually plan to go to a locals like 10 to 12 days ahead of time. And I'm spending that 10 to 12 days 
of time just okay what am i taking like i'm gonna record it for the youtube channel i i better show up i better bring my a game you know even if it's only eight players i better i better do at least top four you know or if i'm at a 20 30 man random pop-up tournament i better show out because that's a big tourney for me and so i'm speaking to a lot of the players that don't get the chance to play the dads the full-time college student and part-time worker or full-time worker like there's just not enough hours in the day and so these are looked at as like super bowls for us you know um so i really want to just dive into a deck that way and i'm going to take a week with each deck to see if like by the end of the week okay my comfort level on the end of day one i felt like a two out of five by the end of uh the week i i felt very strongly like skill wise five out of five i could go with it to attorney tomorrow and do just one um so let me know if you guys are on board with this um the series is going to be pretty fun uh and we're going to kick off things on november 1st i'm going to make a decision today today's the 29th on what the deck is going to be uh i'll usually probably let you guys know at the end of the week so the plan is is that the first day of the video so the first 7th 14th 21st and 28th you will see me say hey welcome to day one of the video here's the deck profile here's what i rate it and then i'll probably do like two or three games of it on that uh video and then throughout the week every day i plan to post a video of probably like a half hour 45 maybe an hour of just me playing matches and you guys can see me learning the deck and growing with it and then by the end of that week on the 13th and then on the uh 20th and then on the 27th and then on the whatever date after that um you'll see me give my final gradings and just say all right here's where i finished at the end of the seven days and here's how i feel about it and here's my final grades for it and then i'll tell you like is this a deck that i would build in paper and feel comfortable going forward with with the format even if the format changes via a ban list or a new set would i just make adjustments and be cut um so i'll make a decision tonight on what my first deck will be and we'll kind of go from there i'm not going to look at like meta too much i may i'm probably i'm not going to lie one of them will be snake eye as amina fire king because it is near and dear to my heart and it's something that i've wanted to play ever since snake eye got banned or hit on the list and got kind of power crept a little bit not necessarily power crept but it got it got ran down a little bit and it's more reliant on other aspects rather than just itself i am interested in playing that deck um and i i mean call it bias or whatever but i went to attorney last night uh played uh i played tenpai i finished top four but lo and behold three of my four matches were against snake eye fire king and it just was like so fun even though i was i lost to it one time i it was fun watching them pop off and it was just a fun deck to learn the ins and outs of so we'll kind of get into that and then maybe i don't know maybe we'll think about decks like voices we'll think about decks like ice barrier i'll think about decks like i don't know um cash tira fire king or something of that nature you know we'll we'll put stuff together and i'll ask people on my youtube channel in the community i'll say things like hey guys what do you guys think about these ideas for next week and hear your thoughts and what you guys are thinking and what i'm thinking and we'll kind of go from there so i'll pick a deck tonight you guys will obviously know episode one of we're going to call this series exploring the format and again this is me reaching out to those players that are in my similar shoes where you can't play every week you can't play every day you can't even play you can't solidly play twice in 10 day period you gotta like plan out a week or two ahead of time and you get to go to that one tournament a month or two tournaments a month and you just gotta kind of put navigate your way through Yu-Gi-Oh that way so let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoy this series going forward. I hope it stays around for a while because I've been looking for a series to stick around and not just die off. Um, but yeah, your support is what matters here. So please like, comment, subscribe on these videos and uh, be kind, be respectful. Let's get to the first episode. Huh? Peace.